This is Pharaoh's Visor of dsdatabase.org and we are doing an unboxing of the Nexus 7. This is Google's Android tablet working with Asus to manufacture these things. It comes in 8 or 16 gigs in size. The one in front of you is 16 gigs and um, they're quite rare because they're still rather new so if you do see one uh, a Best Buy or something, uh, you should definitely consider picking it up. So um, let's quickly unbox this. I have taken it out of the slip case because it was impossible to try and take this thing off of it. Um, so if we just take a look here, we have Nexus 7, uh, the Asus logo. The back says, Made for Google Play. Google Play is one touch away with Nexus 7. Explore the world's largest ebook store, millions of songs, thousands of movies, and more than 500,000 apps and games. Um, <clears throat> I'm in Canada, so this is the French text. Uh, beside it, full fledged Android tablet. Nexus 7 features a powerful quad core processor. Um, that is the Tegra, Tegra 3, clocked at about 1.2, 1.3 gigahertz, quad core. Um, front facing camera, that's about um, 1.2 megapixels. And a vivid 7 inch HD display that, so that you can play your favorite games, video chat, and watch movies in stunning clarity. That is a 1280 by 800 HD IPS display. And lastly, we have Pure Google. Nexus 7 runs the latest version of Android. Comes with all the Google apps you love. Check Gmail, browse the web with Chrome, watch videos on YouTube, and chat face-to-face -face with up to nine friends with Google Plus Hangout. So um, that's just alluding to the fact that the Nexus 7 is um, one of the first, if not the first device to run Android 4.1 Jelly Bean. So, um, let me get this opened up. Uh, I'm just going to take this away from the camera for a moment. So, um, the Nexus 7 is... Retailing for $199 USD for the 8 gig version or um, 249 for the 16 gig version. They are made in China, so um, just as an FYI. Again, this packaging is frustrating. Uh, everything's so tightly closed, it was a bit hard to open it. Um, so we have the Nexus 7 right here. Having come from a Amazon Kindle Fire. Um, it is very similar in size. It's uh, both of them were seven inch displays. We can see the seven inch screen right here. The bezel seems a little larger on the Nexus 7 than the Kindle Fire, but oddly, um, I think it's about the same size. I might even say this one's a little lighter. Um, it is 340 grams. Uh, we have the Nexus logo in the back. Um, and in the box, let's see what goodies we have. Considering the price of this thing, I don't expect much other than a charger and a USB cable. So, um, inside we have an Asus branded wall charger, so uh, the USB is right here. Um, looks fairly large, so I'm hoping it's a, maybe a rapid charger. Probably not though. Um, we have the micro USB cable. Um, looks kind of... Looks like the Asus ones. Yeah, the Asus logo is right here, so... Um, the same one that comes with uh, a, lot, a lot of the Asus stuff. Um, the Transformer, sorry. Uh, so, Nexus Quick Start Guide. Let's see. 
lots of pictures with the buttons and how to charge your batteries. Uh, comes in French for anyone else who's Canadian and warranty guide I think 12 months through Asus. I've had good um, service with Asus before so. So looking at this uh, we have a headphone jack at the bottom, micro USB port, so pretty standard. Uh, looks like there are some connectors here, probably for a dock in the future, or maybe, yeah, probably a dock or some other accessories. We have what looks like a speaker over here. Um, and here are the buttons. Uh, I assume this one's a power button and these two are the volume buttons. Yeah, so power, volume buttons. So now that I've had a few minutes to sort of rip open the wrapper, put in my personal information, get the device basically all set up. Um, I thought we'd finally take a look at the hardware a little closer. The back is really the star of the show, I think. It's a nice rubber back, but it's not overly rubbery, so um, it's not too grippy, but you do get a good grip, so um, it's a very portable device. Um, I don't have big hands, but I can still hold it pretty easily. And you know, you don't feel like you'll slide off, you're not worried about fingerprints on the back. And it, it does have that slick look with the Nexus logo and the Asus logo down here. If you take a look, it is textured as well, so um, you get all these little dots that add to the grippiness. Um, if we take a look around again, uh, there are connectors here, um, but what I didn't mention was the speaker down here and the microphone up here. The buttons are pretty clickable. This one's a power button. There's a volume rocker. Um, they're easy to click and uh, they feel pretty good. The screen um, is pretty bright and very clear. But I thought the colors seemed a little less vibrant. I'm not sure. I haven't played around with it more than a couple minutes. But um, looking at you know Optimus Prime, the red doesn't jump out as it normally does. <clears throat> Speaking of which, I forgot to mention that um, upon purchasing a Nexus 7, for a limited time, I think it's a promotion. You're getting the Born Dominion, a free ebook for play books, um, and Transformer: Dark of the Moon. That's for play movies, and you get a stream of that movie for free. Um, also, you do get twenty-five dollars credit at the Play Store, so that that's definitely a good deal if you do buy your apps. Um, playing around with the software, it is of course uh, running Jelly Bean, so it is one step higher than the um, ice cream sandwich, but um, you'll notice that things like the app drawer, the widgets, they're still very similar. I haven't noticed too much, uh, in it is smooth, but um, Jelly Bean is supposed to be extremely smooth and quite honestly I've never had a problem with uh, ice cream sandwich yet, so um, I can't tell the difference. But one really annoying thing I've had to deal with right now is the software buttons. You get the three buttons, no um, touch buttons, no physical buttons, you get the software buttons. So they take up a chunk of your screen, but um, what, what bothers me is that the ice cream sandwich version uh, tablets would have the buttons on the side and uh, design wise it looks a little better and it doesn't um, I guess psychologically it doesn't seem to get in the way as much but right dead center might it doesn't look as good it's taking on the look of the phone software rather than the tablet um, nevertheless, I mean, they work, and I don't have a problem with it, uh, too much, aside from, um, the design. Speaking of which, um, by default, you do get, um, Google Chrome as a stock browser now. So the real problem here is that it doesn't come with Flash. You're going to have to root your phone or sideload Flash. 
um, to get it all working. But um, I am very happy with the performance. Uh, if we look at DS database, uh, it loads really fast. Um, so, you know, it is uh, it is a successor of Ice Cream Sandwich. You can clearly see some differences in the front screen. Uh, it's making use of all the space, but um, it, it still feels very similar. And anyone that's used Ice Cream Sandwich isn't going to feel out of place with uh, this device. So um, that's it. I will definitely be posting up more videos as I get to play with my Nexus 7 a little more. Thank you so much for watching.